Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. We have an amazing clutch of ball pythons to cut here, one that I've been anticipating for 57 days. Let's go look at the parents. And here's the female here. This is a pastel lesser clown ball python. She produced last year, and she produced some bangers, and she was bred to this male. It's a pastel leopard clown ball python. And if you remember, we hatched out some bangers for sure and they sure have changed in a year they've grown an awful lot this is actually just a lesser leopard clown ball python and this killer leopard clown is actually a male that might actually be big enough to breed this year he is absolutely gorgeous and definitely almost there he might be a daddy later on this year then this one here was the creme de la creme this was actually the super pastel lesser leopard clown and it has that black paradox spot on it too making it absolutely incredible and again, another animal that may be up to size to breed. These guys are beautiful. So I'm hoping with any hope at all that this clutch that we're about to cut is going to be as insane as this last year's clutch was. Let's hope we get some bangers in there for sure. So now that we know what we could potentially get from this, again, it's everything's going to be clown there's going to be combinations of all kinds of stuff lesser clown pastel lesser clown pastel clown leopard clown all kinds of stuff like that again last year it was a banger and we produced some beautiful snakes from this particular pairing so let's go ahead jump into egg number one and see what we get all right i am so excited again a super super cool clutch and right up whoa whoa, whoa. wow that one is beautiful all right so Oh, this is crazy, guys. This one actually looks even better than last year's. This is actually the insane all-gene animal. This happens to be a super pastel lesser leopard clown ball python. So last year we produced one as well, but it didn't look nearly as cool as this, and it had that paradox spotting on it, remember? So this animal looks incredible. I mean, unbelievable, guys. First egg, we crushed the all-gene animal. That is pretty spectacular. Wow, and like I said, this one, is so much lighter. Whoo! Wow. I, I mean, what a way to start. We still have five eggs to go, guys. I mean, it, that's crazy. Let's just go ahead and jump into egg number two. And the fact that every egg has to be a clown makes it that much more exciting because you know you're going to produce some crazy stuff no matter what. And oh, what do we have here? All right, so get this. Get this. Wow. Jeez. Okay. So this is, this is the exact same animal, but not a super pastel. So this is a pastel lesser leopard clown ball python so we oh my goodness gracious wow now interestingly enough this looks a lot more like the one we produced last year which makes me almost wonder if last year i thought it was a super pastel and maybe it's only a pastel leopard lesser clown because this super pastel lesser leopard clown looks so much lighter wow two bangers right off the rip let's go on egg number three Woo, doggy i tell you what man let's just keep it rolling people let's keep it rolling Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So, all right, <laughs> this, is, this is almost comical. We're, we're working in progressions here, people. So what we have now is a lesser leopard clown ball python without the pastel, and I love this animal. We didn't produce one of these last year, so wow, that thing looks crazy. Again, that leopard gene reduces the pattern, causes some kind of dotting on the sides and stuff like that. That head pattern is ridiculous. So, uh, wow. So, okay, let's see what the next egg, who knows what it's gonna be, but the first three eggs, unbelievable. All right, wow, 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 wowzer. All right, what do we have? Oh my gosh, another one. So we have another lesser leopard clown ball python. So we have just been crushing the odds. You know, these two last two didn't have pastel in them, but that's okay, because really I wanted the lesser and the leopard. That was the ones that I really wanted. So we have uh, four eggs with four incredible animals, all lesser leopards, one super pastel and one just pastel, two eggs to go. And you know, again, when this clutch was laid last year, it was a dream clutch. When it was laid this year, another dream clutch. And I just was so excited to cut it. And here we go again. Oh my gosh, look at this, wow, wow. We have, uh, this is unbelievable, people. I, I can't even believe this. This is a another pastel lesser leopard clown ball python. Uh, again, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, so we have two pastel lesser leopard clown ball pythons. This is crazy. One last egg. Let's let's just keep it going, guys. Let's 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 end this with an all gene animal, and this clutch will be the dream clutch forever. So let's do it. I don't, I don't even know what to say other than wow. It's just so absolutely incredible. Okay, so we finally don't have 
a lesser, but we have a beautiful pastel leopard clown. Whoo! So this missed the lesser, but wow, this one is gorgeous. So every single animal, all six eggs, were leopard clown ball pythons, and then combinations there, lessers, pastels, all kinds of stuff like, wow. I tell you what, guys, that was amazing. That, I, 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 I can't even believe, this is wilder than I could have ever imagined. These are some beautiful animals. Be out of the egg in the next two or three days. Unbelievable. Lori, welcome back. How, how'd, you, uh, how'd you like the sloth? Uh, uh, actually, I was I was kind of surprised actually how much I did like him. Um, he is definitely pretty cool. Has a really neat personality. Um, and yeah, like I said, uh, I don't know. I don't know that I'm truly in love because I know I heard that there's that's going and that I'm gonna fall in love yep, with this yep. guy. But uh, I actually fell in love with the camel. But <laughs> he was so cute. But, but I couldn't bring him back. So. <laughs> I really thought you were going to. I thought I was going to go over to your house one day and there's going to be a camel back Yeah, there. maybe if we can buy that thing in the back and I could do a camel pen out there. Oh, that's a smart idea. Yeah. We should no, actually, do it. I take that back. I can't even say that because that will be. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you so, better be careful. You better edit that thing out. No, no, no. <laughs> But but no, he he actually was really cool, and um, I think that he's gonna fit in really good, and and he'll be really happy. Oh well, nice having you back, Lori. Yeah. Sometimes it's the littlest things that can get me really excited about just the future. You know what I mean? You guys know we got the sloth coming, right? Well, guess what? It looks a little bit messy in here. You guys know I have to tear this down. You might wonder why all of these cages are all gunked up and there's water all over the place. It's because we had to put the sloth drain in here. That's right. Well, obviously, there's a sloth in here. It's gonna um, potentially be making a mess and we need a drain. So we cored into the floor right here and there is now a drain in the floor. We are taking all of this out anyway, so uh, it did get a little bit dirty. We will clean it up because we'll probably use this enclosures in uh, 3.0 potentially at least because I really do like these enclosures and I want to just get rid of them so we're just going to store them till next year and when we build out 3.0 these will probably somehow make it back in possibly I'm not 100% sure but regardless pretty excited the first real major feature which is actually a pretty major thing to be totally honest with you is the drain for the slot that way now what we're going to do is we're going to put waterproofing all along about this all the way down to the floor all the way around the room seal that up really good that way if we need to actually take a hose and spray everything down it'll go right down the drain there so uh you know again it's little things like that that make me excited because now i know i've taken one huge step forward to where i want to be and uh hopefully now things will start moving quick got to rip this out maybe tomorrow we'll rip this out of the wall and start working on sealing everything up so uh things are coming drogo's on his way hey guys back at it again today messing with some monitors working on some behavior stuff and today is one of those wonderful days i get to work with elvis many of you know elvis is one of our favorite animals to pull out for just about anybody under the sun however recently i've been no i kind of noticed man he, he seems a little bit like like he, he's not really into it like he's like kind of bored i really want to get his brain moving getting him figuring stuff out and and sometimes just a simple getting him out and letting him smell the world around him can just be just as valuable as getting a ball out or having him feed or something like that so uh, let's get him out. Let's see what he does. Uh, I, I, I have a feeling that I might have to do a little cold coaxing to get him to come out. As we got him moving around, his brain starts to work a little bit, but let's get him out in the sun. Let's get, get him out a little bit more open. Let's see what he actually does. went pretty well I think but while I got him here I actually had some ideas after you guys saw me playing with that little uh, little disc with a little bit of alligator food on it you know I've, I've seen a lot of people in the past they that they would uh, um, they'd actually use cat toys with like iguanas and stuff like that and like it's crazy to see the type of animals that would actually like be stimulated by something that's so so domesticated you know and you guys can you know put put some uh, comments down below 
Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, what, do you think that cat, cat toys would be a good idea? I know they're great for iguanas, but would they be good for monitors? We definitely don't want another incident where he swallows something that we don't that we don't want him swallowing. But at the same time, stimulus is really important. Getting that brain working is really, really important. So let me know what you guys think. Sorry, did you miss me? I missed you so much. You are so sarcastic when you say <laughs> that type of stuff. Did you really miss me? Are you uh, impressed that we live through it? I, I guess. I, I actually I am impressed. It's the building is standing, you're alive, the dogs are alive. Like yeah, this is, I'm proud I did of you. Good, right? Yeah. Proud I did of you. Good, right? See, I'm happy that you're proud of me. I'm happy too, because that shows fun. me I can leave. And I thought you were gonna never come back. <laughs> I saw those pictures on Instagram of Forky and I thought I was done. I thought you were replacing me with Forky. <laughs> Forky and I did have a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounded but. like a good time. Well, I'm happy you're here and I'm happy that I can take a vacation now, so yeah, well, you always have, so you're good. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. And Drogo, good? Yes? Yes. All right. Yeah, he was actually very cool. Awesome. All right. Well, I do. I am happy you're back. I seriously am. I'm glad I miss, you missed me. I did miss you. <laughs> now get to work. As always, you guys are sending us stuff. Uh, link in the description. And for our address, this, you know what I always like to, I like to open up big, big stuff. Because it makes me, it's like when I was a kid, you know? Christmas, you Christmas the yeah, the biggest things. ones are, and that's why as a parent, you always package all the little things yeah. into huge boxes. I was just going to say that, yeah, I totally. You tricked, you tricked our children. Exactly. So then they're not like you, and they don't always go for the big ones. Oh, let's see. Well, this is a bunch of big. <gasps> we aren't going to open that one. <laughs> That's something that uh, is, you guys can't see yet. So it's good that this came. I'm excited about it. But uh, And it is really exciting, but it's something secret that I can't share with you guys. So there you go. Put that aside. Now you have a gift. And the reason I know it's yours is because it says contains alcoholic beverages. Cool. So uh, are you 21? Let's check your ID before you open it. Oh, you're so sweet. I know. <laughs> Got Look wine at this. Tasting. Got wings, wine tasting, two brands, one proof, lots of passion. Did August you say Hill. One roof? You said proof. Oh, I said that's said, said a proof. Oh my gosh, like it was look like, at this. Whoa. How awesome is this? The two things I love the most. Coffee and a wine bottle. And then what's this? But this actually is like a, this is a wine one, right? Yeah, that can be for either. Oh, and so this is oh this is great because if you're driving and drinking wine, you won't spill it. Oh my god. You're so I smart, need, that's so true. I need that so bad. Kids, don't do that. <laughs> this is a. This has to be a wine, or this has to be a coffee, because they don't. They're not going to want to do it no, unless you're getting. Actually, so, I do have. I do have wine things that have the little thing on it. Too. That's why if you get so drunk, you're like. Well, you know, it'd be helpful in Epcot. So what do you think? This is a Berlin Red Table wine. All right. Awesome. Well, this is so nice. Do I know? Like, it didn't have a name. Who it was from? Do we know? I'm not who sure sent who it? sent it. Uh, but whoever it was, thank you. Said, oh, they visited the Reptarium. Uh, a couple weeks ago, or a week ago, or something like that, and we said they were gonna. Oh, now I remember. Yeah. Yes, I remember. You said you were going to, and that's so sweet. This is so nice, and I really am looking forward to trying this. Yep, I think it's gonna happen on the podcast. So Lori's back. Drogo is on his way. Cool baby snake still a hatching. I mean, what an awesome day. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. You can watch a playlist right here. Roll through. It helps my click-through rate. So if you click on some of these, it actually helps the channel. I do appreciate it. Up here in this corner, you can actually subscribe to the podcast channel. I would appreciate that as well. Subscribe to this channel right over here. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone. And I promise I'll see you tomorrow.